Rangers on our left here against the Soviet champions on a really pleasant summer evening. As you can see, it is a magnificent stadium. The best seat in the ground costs only three rubles, just under three pounds, and other seats one ruble under a pound to watch this European Cup tie. And this Dynamo Kiev team remain one of the most powerful of European sides, although this might be just the time to face them. They claim to be mentally and physically tired as they come towards the end of their season, and they're without two of their top players, Belanov, the European Footballer of the Year, and Zavrov, the Russian Footballer of the Year. But at number 11, the magnificent Blokin, 106 caps for his country. The Rangers players, I fancy, slightly embarrassed at getting gifts of flowers before the start from their Russian hosts. And the Rangers manager, Graham Sunis, clearly looking to shut the door on this tie and has gone for caution. Just one man will play up front. The prolific Ali McCoy, 16 goals this season. Four across the midfield and familiar names to England at the back. Terry Butcher, Graham Robertson in goal, Chris Woods. Here he is with Trevor Francis and Mark Falco amongst the substitutes. And the referee is Franz Wara of Austria. So Dynamo Kiev in the white shirts, light blue shorts, attack the goal to our left. A team that has twice won the Cup Winners' Cup. Were semi-finalists in the European Cup last season. Champions of Russia but feeling that maybe some of their best form might be behind them. They're lying seventh in the Russian first division now with, and it comes toward the end of the season with no chance of uh, retaining that championship. Their number five is the skipper, Anatoly Demyanenko. There he is playing the ball in. Sunis up for Rangers. Graham Sunis in again. A little flick on by Avi Cohen. And Kutsesnov with his feet too high and a free kick to Glasgow Rangers. The fourth time they've played in the European Cup in the last 20 years. They've never got past the quarterfinals, but they feel they're in the mood and with the right sort of balance in their side to make a real impact this time. And there's somebody who might make an impact, Ali McCoist. 16 goals this season, 14 for Rangers and two for Scotland against Hungary. So an early corner then for Glasgow Rangers. Taken by Cohen. Durant crossing the ball in. And McGregor arriving late. And in the end it was uh, Balticar who got it away for Kiev. So important for Rangers as the Kiev bench look on with their manager Valery Lobanovsky nearest to us. Mihalichenko. Well, Phillips has been beaten there. Barachuk. just too fierce but there was a real worry there for Rangers Roberts getting that one away but not very far and a shot just wide by Besanov and that was a worry too but it was the work there by the little number nine Yaremchuk that looked for a moment as though it might cause Rangers most problems Certainly a worry, the ease with which he went round Phillips. Roberts made the clearance there. And then Besanov shot wider ago. Sunas, a little flick with the outside of the boot, and he's found some space here for Ian Durant. Abby Cohen. Put in by Ferguson. Soon as trying to get in there, but the shot was away off target in any case, and it fell to the head of Yaremchuk. Yevtuchenko now. Good flowing play here from Dynamo Kiev, and a lovely move by them, but it was too high for blocking, and Jimmy Nickel got it in his head there and got it away for Soon to make the clearance complete. that has been fairly quiet going just a little bit sweeping out a lovely ball there again Yakovenko Yevemchuk and that time Roberts but didn't get it very well very far and uh, got it at the second attempt not very 
very good work in fact by the number 10 uh, Yevtuchenko but under the whip a little bit here Rangers Mihalichenko and finally to the safety of the arms of Chris Woods certainly a very good spell there by the Russians and now Butcher for Rangers oh a bad ball by him Yaremchuk to block in and Rats got past that challenge by Sunis as well played in quickly and Ferguson's head in the right place to get it away for Rangers Mihailichenko returning it once more Ferguson getting it away and a long ball played now to Ali McCoist oh and he's tricked Kuznetsov still McCoist and he almost got the ball past Shanov tremendous piece of individual play there by Ali McCoist he had the beating of Kuznetsov for pace he curled it inside Maltichar but just couldn't beat Shanov Kuznets off beating McCoist in the air. Cohen playing it in towards McGregor. Durant is right in there. McGregor's there! Just wide. And a goal from, or almost a goal from a very unlikely source there. As Rangers suddenly had a man over. The ball played it nicely there for McGregor. Right into the side netting. Yevtuchenko Ferguson's header Yakovenko It's not a bad cross coming in It was Jimmy Nichols header that got it away Ferguson didn't make a contact Rats for Kiev and action there and a throw to Dynamo Kiev Yarachuk Demianenko and Woods just about got his hands to it but it was by no means a clean save it seemed to me from uh, quite a long way off the ball played there for Demianenko and the ball bouncing just in front of Woods he may well have just got the touch that caused the ball to go behind for the corner but it wasn't much more than a touch from Demianenko who knows there are just a few seconds of the first half left the cross coming in, a Rangers organised yet? yes they are maybe at the expense of another corner, no Mihailichenko battling away and wins a dangerous looking free kick for Kiev right on half time just on the edge of the Rangers penalty area Yevtuchenko and a wasted opportunity there as Ferguson gets it away for Rangers we're playing time added on at the end of the first half as the half-time whistle goes and the message from the Ukraine is so far so good for Glasgow Rangers here in the Republican Stadium the half-time score Dynamo Kiev nil Glasgow Rangers nil so welcome back to the romantic skyline of Kiev where the position at half-time in this European Cup tie is Kiev nil Rangers nil well, the second half underway then. Now McCoist to Ian Durant. Play for Sunis, up and available. Swung away to the left here now for Jimmy Phillips. Phillips again, and the ball wouldn't run his way. Kiev get possession once more. Mihalichenko. But Roberts is secure. 
Cohen. versus Durant. Kuznetsov. Putting a bit of pressure on now as Blockin takes it up again. Brought down right on the edge of the penalty area. Blockin, as you can see, claiming that the ball and looks very annoyed that the penalty wasn't given. Sunes tells him to get out of the way. In the meantime, the Austrian referee gives a free kick to Kiev right on the edge of the penalty area. Now this could be trouble. Woods needs a clear sight but also needs the wall to be properly lined up. A little chip coming in. Effectively, it got away nonetheless. Kiev now again trying to open up things down that left hand side. Well, they were lucky there, it fell nicely into the path of Bats and the corner given. So the test goes on for Glasgow Rangers. Can they hold firm and strong to the end? SAF. And the ball shot well wide by Besimov. Slightly troublesome moments these though for Rangers. Up goes Durant. Up goes Ali McCoyst. There's John McGregor. Touched in the game. And once more the white shirts get possession. Stopped that time by Nickel. And now here's Durant. McCoyst has made a good break. Durant shots! And tipped away there by Chanov. Not far short of being man of the match, Ian Durant, for all his hard work just behind Ali McCoy. And that was a tremendous shot, well saved. It'll be Durant who takes the corner. McGregor's made a break towards them. McCoy on the turn, but he couldn't turn quite enough. Voice now sensing that there's maybe a quarter chance, but nothing came of it. Besanov sweeping this long ball to Yaremchuk. 
Mihalicic. Battling to make something of it. The crowd. Oh, he's given a penalty. And Rangers cannot believe it. Mihalichenko brought down right on the edge of the box. Let's have a look at it again now. Going to look like a penalty from that replay, I must say. Graham Roberts, the man who brought him down. It was certainly an unwise challenge in that situation. And Oleg Blokin. They seem to feel might be the man, although it's Mihalichenko who's going forward. 1-0 to Dynamo Kiev. They're still arguing. And Terry Butcher doing the job of mediator, getting the protesting Rangers players away. As the number eight, Mihalichenko, puts it beyond Chris Woods into the back of the net. A real blow for Rangers, but now we shall see the quality of them as to how they can come back from that great disappointment after they've defended so well for so long. Well, they're really being put to the test. They argued furiously about that penalty. But I must say, on the slow motion replay, the referee in awarding it, I would have thought, had got a good case. And the Russian manager must be wondering if that one goal will be enough to take to Glasgow. Russians claim that was a handball by Ferguson. The referee told him to play on. A nice little touch by Durant and another one from him as well. This time to Sunas. Here's Kirkwood. Woods, I think his clearance was slightly impeded, but it matters not in any case because the final whistle has gone and the 100,000 crowd here perfectly behaved here in the Republican Stadium will go home wondering whether that one goal is going to be enough to take to Glasgow, as indeed we all shall, a match that is still very, very beautifully poised at Dynamo Kiev 1, Rangers 0 after the first leg.